Hey guys, it's Amber. Uh, that is Henry. <laughs> He's going to join me for this video. But anyway, I have a Lush haul for you today. Um, I did order some Valentine stuff back in January. Um, it's still January, but it was like the 9th of January. I have received them and I have used some of them. I wanted to share this with you though because, you know, they're, they're limited edition Valentine's things and we're going into February, so this will be about the time, you know, you need to start getting them because they're probably going to start going away. But I'll start, I got some uh, Valentine stuff and some non-Valentine stuff, so I'm going to start with the Valentine stuff. Um, the first product that I'll put in my cart was the Prince Charming Shop, Prince Sh Charming Shower Gel. Jeez, really? Okay, I'll just let you read that. Just leave it right there for you. Um, this is it's a fruity blend of pomegranate juice, marshmallow, and vanilla pod infusion. Uh, I guess I can smell that. It is very fruity when you first open it. On first whip, I smell the pomegranate. I don't smell vanilla or marshmallow, but I smell creamy notes that so could be that. But when I put it in, when I have it in the shower, it really changes. Like some people say they smell Jaffa cakes, which I think is like orange and chocolate. I can kind of see that. And I think that scent note comes from, it has geranium oil and sandalwood oil in it. So it could be the sandalwood that makes it more of a heavier scent as opposed to a fruity scent. But that's what that looks like, you know. Very pink, very creamy. It's not a watery one at all, it's very thick. So that's the Prince Charming Shower Gel. The next Valentine's product I got is called The Kiss. It's a lip scrub. I was originally going to get a lip scrub anyway. I was going to get bubble gum because it's fruity and pink. But I saw this one was out for Valentine's Day. Looks like that. It has a bunch of like confetti bits in it, which I don't know what the point of that is, but okay. It smells like a yummy, kind of citrusy cupcake. This actually has salt in it in addition to the sugar, sugar, so it's not just a sugar, sugar scrub. I can't talk, but it's a salt and sugar scrub. It, the texture is a little dry, too. I don't know if it's just because I've only used the ones in stores, but it's, it's not the moistest product. I hate that word. But yeah, that's the kiss. And it just says, a sweet and shimmery scrub for a soft, kissable pout. Kind of has citrus notes in it, too. Um, but it's very sweet. And foodie, kind of. Alright, the next uh, product I got was a bubble bar. Um, this is called the Lonely Heart Bubble Bar. And it is very glittery. Look at that gold glitter on there. Can you see that? Look how insane that is. It smells like apple, cinnamon, some kind of perfume note to it. Uh, lemongrass, rose absolute. But I smell lemon and lemon, apple, and cinnamon. And this has the same scent. I don't know if you guys have been around Lush that long, but they used to have another company called Be Never. And Be Never made like perfumes and makeup. And it smells like the love scent. So if you've ever smelled love, it smells just like it. Same scent. This is kind of a smaller bubble bar, I think, you know. It's not very big. It, and it was kind of pricey for it, but because the fragrance that's in here, I think that's what makes it more expensive than your average bubble bar for the size. Everything's falling out. Alright, this is my last Valentine purchase. There are other products, but I just didn't feel like picking them up because I don't like a lot of jasmine, and they had a lot of heavy jasmines this year. But this one is called the Heart Throb Bubble Room. Bubble Room. That's what it's called, a bubble room. It's like a macaroon, but a bubble bar. Because it looks like a macaroon cookie. It's a little heart. It also has gold glitter, as you can see, and a gold creamy glitter inside as well. Now, this one, I don't know if I would have purchased it in the store if I smelled it then. Um... It's kind of a heavier floral scent. Let's see, it's got ylang ylang, vanilla, geranium, lemon. I'm gonna say rose, but it doesn't have any rose listed, but I kind of smell that. And it's a very floral, soapy, heavy kind of scent. Cleanish, maybe? Yeah. Um, I'm glad I got it. It's a pretty big bath bomb. You could probably get four uses or so out of that. So, yeah. 
that was heartthrob. One thing I want to mention, which is so amazing about this order, is I didn't order this product. Did not order it. They just put it in my box for free. And this is a $40 body cream. I guess they were doing some kind of special thank you for the New Year's and just threw it in. But thank you, Lush. That was really, really nice. I was actually going to purchase this anyway because it shares the same scent as the Heartthrob Bubble Rune that I just showed you. Um, and I think this is a little bit different. This The Bubble Rune is a little bit heavier and this is a little lighter of a scent. This is the African Paradise Body Conditioner. This is not a limited thing for Valentine's Day. This is We're getting into normal catalog items here. But this is, I think it's like 30 bucks. It's really ridiculous. But basically what it is, is when you're taking a shower while you're still in the shower, um, you just, you know, rinse off and then put this on all over your body. And then just do a quick rinse and then pat yourself down. And this is like an in-shower lotion, which I love because I hate putting lotion on. I hate it. it. I just hate the feeling. Ugh, no. But this is really awesome. I have used this multiple times. Just looks like a creamy, you know, beige color. It's a very light scent, so if you're worried you won't like the scent, it's not super offensive, not super, like, strong, but this thing does an amazing job for moisture, so if you have really dry skin right now, I would really recommend picking a pot of this up, or if you have a store close to you, go get a sample and try it, because this works really, really good. So thank you so much, Lush. That's really awesome. Awesome freebie. Alright, the next product that I actually purchased was the Defluff Strawberry Shaving Soap. So it's just like a fluffy whipped shaving cream. I've used this quite a bit as well. And it's pink and it's fluffy. Looks like strawberries. And this smells just like strawberries and cream. If you've ever had Yummy Yummy Yummy, it used to be a shower gel they sold, or if you had the Drummer's Drumming Bubble Wand from this past Christmas, Smells like that. It kind of smells like strawberry feels forever, but a little bit different. It's more of a creamy strawberry note. This has uh, strawberry, rosehip oil, cocoa butter, uh, maple sugar, vanilla absolute, sweet wild orange oil, and rose absolute. So a lot of stuff going on here. But this stuff gives you a super, super close shave. So I'm so glad I got this. They did have a smaller bottle that's like half the size. But it's shaving cream, and I use it all the time, so I just picked up the big one. I figured how bad can it be. But it's really awesome. It gives you a super close shave, so I'm glad I picked this up. And that was the Defluff Shaving Soap. Alright, the next product that I got um, is a product within a product. This is the Massage Bar Tins. They look like this. Little metal tins. I think they're like $3.95. Pretty cheap, and you use them to store your massage bars in. This particular massage bar that I picked up is called the Earl Grey Massage Bar. And it's basically named after Earl Grey Tea. That Earl Grey Tea has notes of, you know, um, bergamot, citrusy type notes. And I do get a slight citrus from this. Mostly cocoa butter, though. I, I threw away the little wrapping that tells what was in it. But it's a very light cocoa butter, slightly citrusy scent. I got this for bedtime after a bath. Um, it is very slick, and it, look, it's a kind of a thinner massage bar, in my opinion, than the ones that I've had before. So I'm curious to use this. I have not used it yet. And it just fits down in this little tin pretty nicely. I need to get another one because I have another bubble bar, or another massage bar, and I need to pick up a new tin. So that might be in my next order, which you should watch the haul on. Just saying. Alright, so my last massage bar is called... Perk Up Massage Bar. Haha, ha, Perk Up. It's got coffee beans in it. That's what makes it funny. So, yeah. This is what it looks like. And those things are real coffee beans. Isn't that crazy? So I guess, like, it's gonna exfoliate, you know, your skin. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. This smells like a vanilla latte. Let's see what's in it. Uh, shea butter, whole coffee beans, jojoba oil. Sorry, my phone's ringing. Coconut oil, vetiver oil, fair trade vanilla absolute, uh, roasted cocoa, and caffeine powder. So this is really going to perk you up, guys. And it smells so delicious. If you like coffee scents, try this because it smells so yummy. Like, just like a vanilla latte. Super, super, super good. Sorry the phone's ringing. I really don't want to go get it. I only have one more product, though, so let's just get this over with. This is the Vanilla Puff Dusting Powder. 
And I've never tried um, a dusting powder from Lush before. I got this mainly to go over top of the massage bars if they're like too greasy just to like dampen it down a little bit. And this is like in a shower gel container, but it's actually, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Yeah, kind of. And it's just like a, it's a very fine dusting powder. You can, you know, put it all over your body. It scents, scents pretty well. This has got just a basic vanilla tonka bean scent. Nothing too out there, nothing crazy. It's just very, kind of sweet. But not overly sweet. It's a very nice powder smell. It goes with lots of scents, I believe. So yeah, that was the Vanilla Puff Dusting Powder. And this is 1.9 ounces. I don't know if there's a bigger size than this. I kind of want to say that there is, but I'm not sure. So Yeah, well, and I have one final product. This is a regular catalog bath bomb. And this one's called Phoenix Rising. And it's a really cool purple... I do not know what the notes in, are, in this are. I know that there's cinnamon and some kind of, I want to say apple, apple and cinnamon. It doesn't really say it on here, it just says fragrance, but oh, look how cool this thing looks. It's got glow, a, a, a gl gold overspray, and the bottom is like a blue and purple. So pretty. This is going to sound really strange, but to me this smells like a cigar. I don't know. Kind of like has a sweet scent mixed with a little bit of spicy. Yeah. It smells really good. Just very different. Very hard to explain. I've never, like, you know, like I said, I've never had this bar before. It's a really hard bubble bar. Really big. It's about the size of my palm. Just very different. So if you're in a store, give it a whiff. See if you like it. Um, I can't say it's my favorite, but it is very different. And I wanted to try different stuff with this order. I've never tried any of the things I've just ordered. So yeah, it accomplished that mission, and I do like it. Can't wait to take it back with it. I've been holding off trying to film this video. It took me forever to film it. But anyway, um, so that was the stuff that I got at Lush uh, for January slash February. I am plotting a new order because I do want to try Lush's henna that you put in to dye your hair. Um, so if you've ever had any experience with Lush's henna, please uh, leave me a comment below and tell me what you thought about it. Um, if you have any questions, you can also leave a comment below. But other than that, I think my next video is going to be a favorites because we're going into February. So if you're interested in that, um, please stand by for the next. Um, any, any other questions you have, leave them below. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks.